Can't Go On. This one's from Oxymoron. Uh, capo at the third fret. Okay, third fret capo. All right, let's go. Okay, so we start off where you are in, gosh, I guess E minor, um, C, E minor, G, somewhere in that area. Uh, we start off with a C add nine. You can also do a C, either one, to D, no third. Okay, then E minor seven, D, E minor seven, and then C. But on the C, you don't play the high C. You only play the C, E, and G. And then he waits, and then you hear a, to fill it out. Okay, so listen one more time. Listen. And there's a doubled guitar. There's a, a electric and um, acoustic uh, doubled here. And then we go into a kind of quasi reggae backbeat type of thing. Let's listen. That's just an E minor seven, but it's played in that register. So you, I like this E minor seven for this chord to Fingers here, so that's your E minor, and then two fingers down here to give you your seven and your minor third. All right. Okay, and then we go into the verse, which is pretty simple, pretty cool. Let's go. Hold on, let me scoot back. Sorry about that. Okay, so I'm going to just stick with the overall harmony here. I'm not going to go into the little embellishments that you might hear in there uh, with some overdub guitars and stuff. Um, these videos just don't get a lot of views, this newer Kershaw stuff. So I'm just going to keep it to the harmony and then you can fill the rest in if you want. Uh, so, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. B minor 7. I taught you everything you know. C over G. Taught you everything you know. There's a D sus2 there. Right, quick one. Then gotta fly, gotta fly, butterfly. You won't even tell me why. And that leads us into the chorus. Let's listen to that. cool so the chorus is basically the intro you can't go on without me can't go on alone just the intro right but the can't go on alone i think there's a that's a c over g again so can't go on alone repeat Very cool uh, movement here. You will never make it home. A major, D over F sharp. You will never make it B major. Cause C, I'm the only one for you. C minor. So the B major chord 
is very, very, very cool there, right? Um, assuming that we're basically revolving around the E minor, uh, that would give us like um, kind of like a harmonic minor because it gives us that D sharp, right? So that's a borrowed chord from E harmonic minor. And then we move up to the C. I like that half uh, step movement. And then we end on a, I'm the only one for you, which is E C minor. So you, um, you will never make it through, cause I'm the only one for you. Right, that move to minor is very cool. And that takes us back to the uh, next verse. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Right? Then it just repeats from there. So, uh, the good news, bad news is, <laughs> bad news, the good news is that that's the whole song. I guess the bad news is that's the whole song if you're looking for uh, some typical Kershaw-isms. This one's pretty straight ahead. There's a great tenor sax solo that reminds me a lot of the Radio Musicola days. I could transcribe that solo, but again, I mean, this video will probably get 20 views, so it's not really worth it. So we just keep going. So right at that part there. So a little longer C minor chord. And then a repeat of the intro, and then end on a G. So that's a really cool little song. I uh, slept on that one. I like that one a lot. So there's another Kershaw one in the books. Right on.